<laughs> and we're back with our guest in studio, Lisa Lucas. Hi. Hi. That was a studio audience applause, because she is, in fact, a nice lady. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming on our show. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Lisa. Are well, you from New Mexico? Well, I am and I'm not. I, I, technically, I was uh, born in Southern California, but, um, but my mom's lived here for 30 years, so I really, it really is my home and where I feel most at home, so yes. And so we've introed you earlier on in the program as a producer, writer, actor. That's correct. So you wear all the hats. I wear all the hats. Nice. Yeah, Multifaceted. That, that was the order we got them in. So <laughs> producer first, okay. maybe? Okay. Um, well, let's see. I, um, I've had about an 18-year career as a television producer. <laughs> um, still ongoing, not in past tense. All right, good. Um, I started off uh, in documentaries. Um, I wanted to be a documentary feature director. I did that, um, and then I sort of segued into television for oh, to a couple of decades. Mm -hmm. And um, and then, uh, you know, let's see, what did I do? Producer, writer, I heard writer. You, producer, actor. Yeah, writer. you did The did Bachelor do? too. Yes, I was part of the original Bachelor. How was that? Well, at the time, at the dawn of reality TV. What a yes, weird thank time. You. Thank you for starting that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it wasn't my fault. No, they, uh, they, um, they contacted documentary filmmakers. That's really how it was. And I was mm -hmm. living in New York, and um, it was just like anybody who'd won an award in anything, and I had won an award in the uh, New York Film Festival. And I thought, this is it. I'm going to be a director and whatever. And the first and only phone call I got was, do you want to direct? Do you want to work on a reality show? And at the time, you know, they were called a docu series. Yeah. That's oh. how they lured us in. Yeah, yeah. In well, they were kind of. They mm, are. No. no, they're pretty scripted. No, I'm here well, to but, tell yeah. you right but now. The, but in the like, in the, in the presentation <laughs> of them, right? Like well, they're, of they're designed to well, look as though. Well, it was all. It was all. Well, I'll get in trouble for saying this, but let's do it. Okay. Breaking the chains. It was really to get out of the writers' union. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you that I wrote that show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every word. Nice and word. you construct, you know, scenarios and you have them improv stuff. Mm -hmm. But then if you don't like it, you say cut and you know do it exactly Joe, you, you need to it. say this. Mm -hmm. You know, and then they just do it. Mm -hmm. How many roses? What was your rose budget <laughs> for The Bachelor? Oh my God. That show was so expensive to make. Um, the final rose was probably uh, a million and a half just the episode. Oh, the final rose was the name of the episode. The final. The final. Oh, I meant like the because he passes out roses. Like how much oh, did oh, they spend? Oh, roses on in flowers? general. Oh, I thought you meant like the final rose. And then I thought they... you meant like the last rose he gave away was like some special. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you guys knew the show. I know um, about it. We do try to research our guests, but I did not watch The Bachelor. Oh, that's, I, I think so much more highly of you now. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. Okay. I did um, watch Jersey Shore. You so. saw it here on You Public, <laughs> the truth about reality TV. <laughs> Well, it's true, though. They are almost 100% scripted. Well, think about the Kardashians, for example. I mean, I don't. OK. <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, but if you did contemplate it if for I a second. If I was to do this, what would happen? Exactly. Uh -huh. Do you think that they have the brain power to even come up with anything? They don't. They no, have to be told not. what to do. Yeah. They well, my friend, she produces reality TV also. And I was visiting in New York, and they're working on a pitch. And it was funny. It was like, episode one, this is what could happen. And then episode two, the city girl will get into a fight with the country girl. And we'll make that happen. Don't worry. I was just like, ah. No, it's not. And then especially when you tell people, like when I tell my mom or um, my um, my stepmom is super into it, and they just they they take it hook, line, and sinker, and it's like they are the guinea pigs. And I just look at them like you are the reason. Mm -hmm. You are the reason why I've been employed for 20 years because you believe it. Yeah. Well, and so. we do improv shows every <laughs> weekend, and my mom still thinks that we like have time to script it before the improv <laughs> show. So it's a little bit reverse. <laughs> it's a little bit reverse. But anyway, so I did that for a while. But it, but including, I didn't only do reality. Um, I did you know game shows. And um, lifestyle magazine shows and listy, I like to call them the listy shows, mm -hmm. like you know, Hollywood's top ten. And Those are stuff, fun. Stuff like that, yeah. Oh, that Those was are, big yeah. for a while, like VH1. Those are nice to eat, like get some KFC and watch like a top 10. Yeah, exactly. Or it's like a good American type of evening. mindset mm -hmm. for those late nights, the people mm -hmm. that would watch those shows. Sure. Um, and then, uh, let's see, I, I, I love film myself. I'm a total filmophile, so it's very exciting to, for me to be on your show. But I did write um, and produce Leonard Maltin's 
show for a while, and that mm -hmm. was really fun, like 390 episodes or something. Mm -hmm. That's a really wild career, like all the different places that it's gone and there's all the more. different like there's genres. More. Yeah. yeah, there's more. Wow. Save it? Let's save it <laughs> and move. And put we'll, a pin in that for we'll now. We'll put a pin. <laughs> we'll jump in because we got a lot to talk about with you. And we've got okay. some clips, I think, too. I'm very excited but, about this charade. Yeah, yeah, let's get back into this charade. Yeah, Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn haven't started playing charades yet, but they, <laughs> they probably will. Fingers crossed. But it's going to get sexy with an orange in just a little bit. That's my favorite part. Me it's the too. best part. It, is, it really is good. Stick around. <laughs>